Today, we're going to be solving the 21 by 21 without me doing a single turn. How would this be possible? Well, I'm going to be asking different speed cubers at a Ruby's Cube competition to solve it for me. But this is super risky because it has a high chance of popping when giving it to strangers. And I was right. Someone popped it and we had to fix it. But after that, I was more careful when giving it to people. And we made significant progress throughout the competition. This is a four day Ruby's Cube competition. And on the first day, we completed the white center. On the second day, we finished the yellow center. At this point, I was getting worried because there were only two days left of this competition when we were not even 50% done with this cube yet. But on day three, we finished the blue center and the orange, but we were still behind. So on day four, I gave it to the best people I knew. And right on time when everyone was leaving the competition, we were on the last step and everyone was watching. Yeah! 